Guys, welcome back to another video, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the rental. Uh, I told you guys in the last video, if you haven't seen that, I'll put the information in the uh, corner of the screen here. I returned the Hyundai Santa Fe to uh, Sebring, Enterprise and Sebring, and it just so happened that the same woman who actually gave me the original Nissan Sentra that we returned in Tennessee, she was the same one that actually checked in the Hyundai and Sebring. So. She gave me the car in Lakeland and then checked the new one in in Sebring. Blew my mind. I want to show you guys today how to clean your microfiber cutting pads, your foam pads, whatever pad that you may be using on your polishers. So if you have some dirty pads like I do, um, I have most of these here are foam and three of them are microfiber pads. I actually cleaned one already that I'll show you guys a comparison of what the microfiber pad looks like when it's dirty, uh, when it's used on several panels of the vehicle or whatever you're working on and what the clean one looks like. I'll show you guys that in a minute. I wanted to shed a little bit of light and some of my, my knowledge at least on how to clean pads uh, for your polisher. So here I've got a bunch of foam pads, like I said. I've got some microfiber pads, more foam pads. I don't know why I just color coordinated that backwards, but I did it. So obviously uh, some of these are dirtier than others. Depends on your application, what you use them for. Um, in this particular scenario, my orange pads are the least aggressive. The blue pad has a little bit more bite. That one actually I don't think has ever been used. Maybe it was used once. This one is the Mac Daddy. <laughs> it was used quite a bit recently and I didn't clean it. So I think that will give you a really good comparison once it's clean. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to clean these with your basic household soap. You don't need to purchase a microfiber cleaner. You don't need to purchase a specialty type cleaner. All you need is a little bit of dish soap. So this is actually a generic version of the Dawn dish soap. It's made by Great Value. It's a Walmart, you know, generic. I don't know why we got crisp apple, but <laughs> it, it, it smells decent. So uh, first thing you want to do is make sure your hot water is going. And yes, I'm going to be replacing the um, faucet or whatever you want to call it thing. I want to get one of those Delta, I think it's Delta that you can actually touch it and it turns on with with a touch sensor. I don't know how it's, what it's called, but when I replace that, I can actually deduct that from my rent. Anything that I replace here, um, I can actually deduct from rent. So that's always a benefit for from renting. So you want to throw your pads in here, get them all, actually, I'll grab this stopper here. This stopper that doesn't really work that well. You want to throw your pads in the sink, or if you want to use buckets, you can. Um, however you want to do it. Bella, shut up. These are all Adams Polishes pads, by the way. Um, if you guys haven't figured out, my channel is 99.99% Adams Polishes. These are just the pads that are dirty, that are used. I'm going to fill this up with warm water. Um, now I could do this with a bucket, but it's just easier. I have everything right here in front of me. Uh, what I'm gonna do is lay out a clean towel on the countertop. And once these have soaked up warm water, I'm going to massage them with my fingers with some dish soap. I hope you guys can hear me over that running water. Actually, you know what? Well, that just made it louder. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna turn these over now and let them soak pad, pad side down. So it can loosen all the dirt, all of the compounds, everything that is on the pad. Ooh, this is hot water. Oof. Come on now, cooperate. Let's put this one over here. You guys see the orange water? It's already removing everything off of that pad. Awesome. Makes this demonstration that much more nice. Because a lot of people say, well, your demonstration did a good job, but 
you didn't really accomplish what you were going for. Well, you know what? Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work out the way that you anticipated. So I'm going to let these soak now and in about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes if the water hasn't drained itself by now. Um, I'm going to refill this up with warm water and then put some soap on each pad, gently massage the the, the foam composite themselves and then the microfiber, um, you know, material, the fibers, the microfiber fibers. <laughs> Uh, massage those so it loosens up all the dirt and then I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm going to put them outside to dry and I'll show you what they look like afterwards So this is a microfiber pad that I have already cleaned and it was sitting outside drying. It's not completely dry yet, but as you guys see, there's a huge difference in this microfiber pad versus the one that I showed you earlier that is now soaking uh, right there and huge difference. So it just takes a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a uh, determination, a few minutes of your time. Well, couple hours every time actually and 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 just let sunlight dry it um, or you can set them on the counter if you want and let them air dry but if you want them drying really quickly just set them outside once they're done and they'll be good to go in about an hour the pads are now clean they have air dried for about an hour and a half to two hours as you guys can see they are all um, clean <laughs> now don't be afraid if you guys pads end up looking a little different from what they used to when you purchase them obviously new products new pads new towels etc will never be the same the way you purchase them they'll never be as clean as the day you purchase them it's okay that just means they got love they have love marks they've been to battle they have battle scars <laughs> um, Unfortunately, detailing supplies are perishable items at a certain point, and that's a great comparison that you can use. They just, over time, deteriorate, and they need to be replaced. You know, one, one pad does not fix all. You have to replace pads after a certain amount of times you've been used, they have been used, and unfortunately, that's just how everything is these days. So. Like I was saying, don't be upset if your pads don't look bright and vibrant orange or your blues aren't deep royals or, or baby blue, you know, don't, don't be afraid of that. It's okay. It just means they've been used. Now, if you guys have a microfiber cleaner, a revitalizer, a micro restore, or any brand of cleaner that you guys want to use on your pads, then go ahead and do so. I was just showing you guys that you could use a household disc detergent dish detergent that's kind of hard to say <laughs> to clean your pads effectively and to where you didn't need to buy anything else I mean most people have dish detergent dish detergent god that, that's real hard really hard to say most people have that at home already and you know if, if you don't have anything that's the best thing that you can use and that's what I use so I just wanted to share that with you guys I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did then make sure to hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment below, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next one. It's caught in the crossfire.